Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over it on online.com. And this is uh, about a former Fox News personality, Kathy Anu, arrested on charges of kidnapping and exploiting elderly mother. It is done by the Radar staff, and it says TV personality and self-proclaimed liberal uh, shepherd, Kathy Anu, has been arrested after being accused of repeatedly exploiting her 88-year-old mother. The former Fox News uh, guest and podcast host, who was known for providing a different political perspective on the notoriously conservative media outlet, uh, was taken into custody and booked into a Miami jail on Friday, December the 9th. She is now facing a series of felony charges, including exploitation of the elderly, kidnapping, and being involved in an organized scheme to defraud. Miami-Dade County prosecutors allege that Anu not only stole roughly 224000 from her elderly mother by taking out credit cards in her name, uh taking control of her reverse mortgage and stealing directly from her savings account but that she also uh, also used a revoked power of attorney to put her into a nursing home without her consent twice Damn. According to the prosecutors who have been investigating the incident since 2019 a new believe to a uh, believed to have initially ticked her mother and tricked her mother into going to the elderly care home by telling her she was going to take her out for ice cream with her grandchild she then reportedly instructed staff not to allow her to have any visitors or make any phone calls her mother was later determined to be fully mentally competent and released from the mental facility However, the second time a new allegedly forcefully dragged her mother from her property to put her into the home. The 51-year-old has been evading criminal charges since June while a judge first signed a warrant. She is believed to have spent time in Mexico for some time to avoid arrest. Every incident of uh, alleged elderly exploitation or abuse touches our hearts and never fails to shock us attorney Kathleen uh, Ferdinand Ramble said in a statement at the time it seems particularly hardened to understand when the alleged uh, perpetrator of the exploitation is a daughter or a son or another blood relative a new is currently still in police custody and is still being held uh, for bond, held without bond, excuse me, um, as it stands right now. Uh, yeah, buddy, Fox News removed her uh, from the profile on their website following her arrest. And that is the end of the article right there. Um, it's just really sad that uh she had to go through that and um i hope that she does get prosecuted to the full extent of the law um there's no reason for her to do that um i'm pretty sure she could have found some other way to uh you know have uh, income Uh, it seems to be based around you know uh, the mother's money and things like that um you know, she definitely took the wrong route in terms of that. Um, and again, not only is the mother the victim, but the child will be the victim as well. Um, because the child is going to be separated from, you know, their mother. And, um, you know, I wouldn't want to be the one to tell them why mommy went to jail or prison. Um you know that would be a hard conversation for anyone to have however she was caught and uh hopefully she will be uh brought to justice and prosecuted to the full extent of the law and um 
hopefully the mother um, and her grandchild will still be able to be together and, you know, um, you know, heal from this. It's not easy, you know, having a family member that you know that would, you know, do something or even, you know, think of doing something like this to you. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I definitely would like to know how you feel about this story. Drop that in the comments. Express your feelings. Um, and let's chop it up. And thank you so much. I appreciate you watching my video. I truly do. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. With that, you guys, I will get back to you in the next one.